Hello, esteemed guests, and welcome to the Overlook Hotel, where the party never stops, whether you want it to or not. My name's Heather Miller, and I work for Independent Hill Library. However, this evening, I'll be shadowing under Lloyd, the bartender for... Some people call it the Golden Room, some people call it the Colorado Lounge. Whatever you call it, Lloyd makes drinks you would kill for. Tonight, we're going to be looking through one of his favorites. First, a disclaimer. For those of you wandering the hotel halls on a tricycle, or looking for those wandering on tricycles to say, Come play with us. Please keep the liquor out of your drink and keep this to a delicious juice mix. For those of you old enough to attend the party until midnight, don't try to go snowmobiling after you've had a sip. You don't want to see what happens if you run into one of our hedge animals. They're rather lively. Today, we'll be making a favorite of the Overlook Hotel, Red Rum, an encore drink from Jason Ward's Chilling Cocktails, classic cocktails with a horrifying twist. If you're interested in seeing this recipe in writing, or trying another item from this book, I might recommend Scream de Minth, or Let the Right Rum In. Check this book out at your local library. For this recipe, you'll need light rum, dark rum, blue curacao, oh, oh, you need orange curacao, let's pretend that's orange. Surely this won't have completely foreseen consequences later. You'll also need grenadine, pineapple juice, orange juice, and angostura bitters. Lastly, but not least, you'll need a pineapple, limes, cherries, and oranges. Just make sure your oranges aren't masquerading grapefruits. Things like to dress up in costume here. First, find your way down to the lounge bar, and come back later if the bar looks dry. Lloyd will make sure to stock it soon, even on the off-season. Add in your dark rum and light rum, followed by your curacao. Next, add in your juices, both your pineapple juice and your orange juice. Splash in your grenadine. And uh, don't think too hard about how it looks like the blood that sometimes gushes from the elevator. At this hotel, you should always carry around one of Holloran's kitchen knives. You never know when you're going to need it. After you cut open a lime, squeeze out its insides. Put in a dash of Angostura bitters. Maybe a little extra if you like the bite. Pour your continents into a shaker and give it a good shake. Now, how to open a pineapple the overlook way. Grab yourself a rope or croquet mallet. A sledgehammer will do fine in a pinch. And... Voila! Your pineapple and orange are ready to be served. If you can't wait for the next Colorado ice storm to cut the roads off and provide you with some ice, at least plan to freeze some before your party. Pour in your drink. Add some fruit to your glass. And maybe some cherry juice, when you realize how different blue curacao is from orange. And there you have it! Jason Ward's, um, not so red rum. A scrumptious drink, whether you're trying to finish up a novel or play, or partying in room 217 or 237, depending on whether you prefer books or movies. Thank you for joining us today, and stay tuned next season for more bookish beverages and dastardly drinks. Until then, cheers! Enjoy your stay with us. This place has always had a bit of a shine to it, 